I am really tempted to do a wear test because there has been a bunch of new makeup that has launched to the makeup world. I feel like since 2021, 2021, woo. <laughs> Since 2022 started, there has been a ton of new makeup that has hit the market. I have been trying my best to do a video per product, depending on what kind of product it is, but the way that it's going, I'm going to have to combine a few products in this specific video. So I'm gonna use the products and then I'm gonna tell you guys my recommendation of whether or not I think it's a product that's worth your coin. So if you wanna see what products I'm gonna be using and whether or not I'm going to say yay or nay, then keep on watching. get started i'm gonna start out with one of i'm gonna do a specific video for this this is the glam light hershey kisses eyeshadow palette this is special dark they sent me the whole thing and i'm gonna do a specific video for it this is the palette i'm gonna be using today i don't know exactly what i'm gonna create with it but this is the one we're gonna be using i'm gonna start out with this shade well i gotta blend out any creases that i might have in my eyeshadow base because when i look up at you i create a crease because i have hooded eyes okay but i'm gonna take my first shade and i'm gonna stamp it into my eye and i'm exaggerating my stamp in motion so that you can see what I mean. Stamp it into your skin like that, just like that. I'm not dragging it. I'm just stamping it really fast. In whatever shape you want, just go ahead and stamp in your eyeshadow. We're not blending, we're just stamping because we're trying to build up that color. Now, once we build up that color, we can go ahead and blend it. But before that, your only job is to stamp. So I've stamped enough. Now I'm gonna go ahead and blend the edges of this out. I love a good Sigma brush. Like, they're the best on the market, period. Okay, period. I've had this for a while. I've watched it a ton of times and the bristles are still intact. Okay, so this is the Sigma E28, a detailed buffer brush. And I'm going to go ahead and blend the edges of this eyeshadow out. I like to blend the edges of my shadows in a circular motion. just circular motions just like that it's blended out i see a little patchiness right here it might be user error so i'm just gonna go back in and build it up i'm gonna take this very deep shade in here and i want to put that in my crease i don't know why i want to do that but i want to do it so i'm gonna take it and place it into my crease It is such a gorgeous color. I just, I can't help it. Ooh. And it moves so beautifully under the brush. I'm using the same brush as I used to blend out the edges of my look. And I'm just stamping and doing that windshield wiper motion. Now for me, the windshield wiper motion is to help me diffuse a shadow in an intense area i never use that windshield wiper motion to blend the edges of anything out because it never goes the way that i want it to go so now that that's blended in i don't know what shimmer shade i'm gonna put in the middle but i'm gonna swatch the two shimmer shades in here for you guys this is one of them Ooh, and this is the other they both kind of look the same on camera but this is deeper than this one so i'm gonna use this one in the middle of my eye not very many people know about this hack so i'm gonna put you on okay you know how some people's shimmer on their eyeshadow lasts forever well this is a hack i have been doing for years okay if you want your shimmer eyeshadow to last for a very long time Take some eyeshadow glitter glue. You just need something for the shimmer to adhere to. I am gonna take some of my glitter glue and I'm gonna place it directly in the middle of this look. And just blend it out, okay? Okay, and you just have to wait for it to dry down just a little bit. Then you're gonna take some of your eyeshadow and you're gonna put it directly onto that glitter adhesive. And that glitter adhesive would hold on to your shimmer shade all day. It's not gonna let it go. It's not gonna go anywhere. It's gonna be on your eyes. 
This is a hack for my hooded eye ladies because I have hooded eyes and if I'm not careful, by the time I look up, there's, there's lines in my eyeshadow and I don't want that to happen, okay? I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this in a little bit. Okay, and just like that, your shimmer is gonna last all day. It's not gonna move. You're not gonna have beef with anybody because you're missing eyeshadow. Let me blend some of this deep shade into the eyeshadow. Ooh, ooh, do you see what it's doing? Do you see this shade? You see the shade right here? That is from me blending that deep shade into this shimmer shade that we put down okay glam light we see you we see you so you guys know that i have oily skin and a ton of you have been telling me about this the makeup forever skin prep product so i went into sephora inside jc penny during the sale and i decided to pick up a few of these products to see what they were all about i'm gonna use it and i'm gonna see how long it can last on my face i picked up this makeup forever mist and fix setting spray a lot of people swear by the setting spray and so i went ahead and oh some of these setting sprays come at you i wish it was a little bit more fine but it did cover my face in like three pumps so that's not bad another product that a lot of you have been raving about is the shine control primer and i decided to go ahead and pick up the pore minimizing primer okay so this is the pore filler i do have some pores on my nose so i'm gonna go ahead and blend it in Hmm. I thought this product would be a lot thicker. I'm gonna go in with the Shine Control Primer and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it in. So we're gonna use the NARS foundation in the shade Molly and we're gonna use our Sephora Collection brushes. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with some concealer. We're gonna be using the new LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. We have four shades over here. These are the concealers swatched on the back of my hand. From the top, we have DPN4. Next, we have DPP1. Next, we have DPN1. And the lighter shade on the back of my hand is DG6. I'm gonna go in with this shade and this shade. I'm gonna be blending everything out with the Sigma Soft Blend Concealer. This is F64 brush. This is what it looks like. It's a bit fluffy, but it's big enough to blend concealer out quickly instead of using like a very small um, blending brush. So what I'm doing is taking some of our initial transition shade, the purple one, and I'm gonna place it towards the inner part of my eye. I'm gonna take the shade that we used to deepen it and apply that towards the outer part of my eye. And as you can see, if you don't put that shade on that purple base like I did, it looks more black compared to blue black or bluish black. But if you put it on that very purple base, it lightens up that color for you a little bit. If not, that shade is almost black. Okay, you guys, so I did not use the Huda Beauty, what is this called? Cheek Tint Blush Sticks um, initially because I completely forgot that I had them, but I'm gonna show you what they look like. So Huda Beauty has new blushes out. These are blush sticks and we have five shades here. This is Batty Berry and this is Rebel Red and these are the two that I feel apply to me as blushes and these are the two Depending on what the blush looks like, I might be able to use them as highlighter, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna go in with Rebel Red. I'm taking the brush that came with the products. This is the Huda Beauty Face and Cheek Color Brush, and I'm just gonna go into it like this. Okay, I really didn't think it was gonna show up very well, so I put a little bit of a powder base down. Wow. Okay. 
okay very very intensely it's very easy to go on oh yeah this blush is intense this is the shade rebel red i set my face one more time with that uh makeup forever mist and fix setting spray i can say that my face has not gotten oily yet especially around here you can see that it's not oily which is a good thing okay you guys so this is my finished look trying a few new products that have launched to the makeup community i didn't get to try one product but i'm definitely going to be trying it out in a different video so that's coming definitely keep an eye out for that i'm okay with the products that i use today i'm impressed by it because okay i have set my face three times already and my face is not like super oily generally by the time i finish everything to say hey guys this is my finished look i've had to powder my face at least twice in the process before i can say my face is done without it looking like visibly oily i am really tempted to do a wear test because it is now 5 30 4 o'clock was when i finished my base the time is now 5 30 since i finished my whole face so i can see what my face is looking like with this primer because a lot of you rave about this primer so i'm gonna go and i will see you guys back in a few hours so okay you guys so <clears throat> oh lord it's late the time is now 10 44 and this is what my face is looking like i look oily but my skin looks so good i have not blotted my face i did not touch my face this is what it's looking like six hours after the fact i don't know what to think what do you guys think let me know down below in the comments what you think is this looking oily to you is it looking glowy i'm just gonna use this the brush that i use to apply my setting powder to blot my face Okay, and we're back to looking brand new. I'm gonna show you guys more of the Glam Light Hershey Kisses palettes for sure. That is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.